Hi, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today we're going to show you how to change the CMOS battery on a Dell Latitude E5570, 5580, or 5590 series laptop. This same procedure will work on several other Dell Latitude models, uh, but primarily we're going to show you the application in those three models. Now, what we are going to change is the CMOS battery. And this is what it looks like. A little round cylinder, a round end with a connector. That's a little like a watch battery. Now, just to clarify so that you understand what we're doing, there are three sources of power for your laptop. On the right side is your AC power when you plug it into the wall. In the center is your normal laptop battery. And on the left is this little CMOS battery. The purpose of that CMOS battery is to apply power to the motherboard and system setup when the regular battery and the AC power are not on. In other words, you're not plugged into the wall with your AC power and your battery, your main battery has gone dead. When that happens, the only way the laptop can retain its memory which one of the functions is, the date and the time, is through a charge held in that little CMOS battery. That's its only function. So hopefully that clears that up. Okay, we're going to change the CMOS battery. In order to do that, we're going to turn the laptop upside down and remove the bottom cover. We've already taken the screws out of this one just to save some time here. There's eight screws you got to remove, eight Phillips head screws, and then you can snap the bottom off the laptop. The CMOS battery is located right there in these three models that I mentioned at the beginning. Really easy to get at. And Physically, all you have to do is pull up on it and unplug it, and that's it. It's that simple. Now you put a new one in and you reverse the process. Little connector, you plug that connector in where you just removed the bad one from. That's all there is to it. Now, unplug the regular battery so that we can test this, bat this CMOS battery. With the regular battery unplugged, all the power is re or all the information is retained by that CMOS battery. So we're going to do a little test here. Plug the AC power in, and what we're going to do is we're going to set the time. We're going to set the time with that power uh, with the um, power plugged in. The bat the regular battery is disconnected. We're going to set the time in BIOS. So we turned it on. Hit the F2 key to get into system setup. We're getting into system setup because that's where you change the date and time. It defaults to a date 20 or 30 years ago. Okay, there it comes. Now we're going to go into setup because we hit the F2 key. There's that message that we used to get. Hit F2 to go into setup. The message said you got to set the date and time. So we're going to go in. And one of the choices there is to set the date. We're going to set the date and the time. And now we're going to turn the laptop off, unplug the power, so that date and time is retained by the CMOS battery at this point. That's the only thing it's getting power from, the CMOS. We already unplugged the regular battery. Now we're going to plug that back in, and the test here will see, did it maintain the date and time? So we started up at the F2 key to go into setup. And if, we're, if we have a good CMOS battery, the date should still be there. We go down to date, and there it is. Date is still there, so our battery is good, and we've successfully changed it with a good CMOS battery. So all that's left to do now is to turn it over, take the cover off, and plug the regular battery back in, because we're all done now. We're going to get her back into operational mode. Just push the connector on, 
And then, then we're going to put the bottom cover on, assemble the eight screws, and you're good to go. That's all there is to it. You heard it here, Fred from the Laptop Barn. If you like this, hit the like button. If you have any comments for future videos you'd like to see on our channel, leave them below. Thanks for watching. Good job.